Hey, you can keep your head in the clouds all you want, but what you really need is a good password manager to keep your passwords safe. In this Keeper Tutorial 2025, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this great password manager and all of its features, so keep up, or, you know, keep writing your passwords on sticky notes. Choice is yours. Okay, let's begin with a quick Keeper tutorial on plans and subscriptions. So being a premium provider, Keeper has a personal, family, and business plans. Now, typically most users should be satisfied with the personal plan that includes all of the important features, though I use the family one myself since it has some nice additions that I'll mention later. Business plans can also come in handy for some small business owners or even corporate workers. Just make sure that you need all the add-ons and features that come with it. So once you have the subscription, how do you install Keeper on your device. If you're on iOS, Android, or Mac OS, one click in the App Store is what you need. Windows users, don't worry, it's not much harder for you. Just go to this web page and download the installer, click it twice, and start the installation and follow all the steps. This is a very straightforward process. That said, the standalone apps are very nice, but not mandatory. If your device is on a weaker side and you'd much rather limit your password manager to just your browser, get the extension. In Google Chrome, you can look up Keeper Browser Extension and get it right there. Now that you have an app or an extension or both, let's start with the basics. So how do you put passwords in the Keeper Password Manager? There are, of course, two ways. You can either import your passwords from your browser or another password manager, or just simply create new entries by hand. For importing, Keeper does support one-click import with the majority of browsers, but that's not everything. Let's say you used LastPass before and decided to switch. Great idea, by the way. In that case, you can export your passwords in a standalone file and then feed it to Keeper. This will transfer all data at once. Now, of course, alternatively, you can just go ahead and press this button and start filling in passwords manually. The process is straightforward. Account name goes here, password goes there, boom, done. Now, sometimes you're not only adding new passwords, but changing existing ones. When do you need that? Security Audit helps to make the call. This feature detects whenever you have a very simple password or the password is reused, or maybe there has been a breach and Facebook leaked user data again. Though in that case, it will be Breach Watch that notifies you about the leak, but who cares, tomato, tomato. At the end of the day, the logic is simple. Health Checker detects weak or repeated passwords and pings you to get rid of the problem. So I'm not suggesting that you spend hours coming up with new strong passwords. The password generator is gonna do that for you. So how to use Keeper's generator. This is easy. Click this tab, configure how many symbols and which ones you want in your password and done. That's it. The password is generated and you can instantly send it to the vault as well. Pretty simple process for generating virtually unbreakable passwords. Of course, I don't expect you to constantly copy paste those passwords or God forbid, type them by hand. Ooh. With the Keeper browser extension installed, you can use autofill. Now look closely, as long as this feature is enabled, every time you try to log in, this small window will pop up. After that, one click and the password is in, so you can just keep browsing without worries. Now, automatically filling passwords is nice, but what if your friend needs to borrow your Netflix account and you don't wanna risk leaking his highly confidential data? Well, password sharing with Keeper is really simple. Just open any password you'd like to share and click share. <laughs> Here you can choose one-time share, which will create a share link. Oh, and you can configure how long the link will remain accessible. But if you wanna share the password permanently, you do need to pick add people, enter the email of the user, and then specify access privileges. So keep in mind that this only works with other Keeper users. Now, if you're wondering, with Family Plan, the methods that I've just mentioned are unnecessary. It's very easy to just configure your family member and share access, not just for single passwords, but for full folders as well. Joint ownership and editing of the passwords is also possible. Now I'd like to talk about many additional features that Keeper offers. I'm not gonna necessarily explain all of them since most users will likely not need those, but their versatility makes Keeper one of the best password manager options. For instance, emergency access. So this feature allows you to designate up to five trusted contacts that will be able to access your passwords in case of emergency. Now you can do that by going to your account settings and inviting up to five active Keeper users. Yeah, unfortunately, emergency access won't work with just anyone. Also, all the access will be in the read only mode. So you don't have to worry about someone changing your passwords. Now, another useful though underutilized feature is passkeys. Passkeys are essentially a new implementation of 
passwordless login. So once you generate one of them for a specific website, you can log in without passwords. And the website will just get confirmation from the Keeper password manager and log you in automatically. You can create pass keys just like any other password and they're gonna be stored alongside other entries in the app. All right, talking about storage, Keeper's Secure File Storage is an integrated add-on that allows storing and organizing various files. Knowing that Keeper's encryption will be protecting not just my passwords, but also any file that I consider important is a pretty good privacy support. Adding files to Keeper is also easy. You can do that through the same form that you already used for passwords. One more fancy but hardly vital feature is uh, Keeper Concierge. Uh, damn if it sounds fancy. This premium support service was created to provide personalized onboarding, training, and setup assistance. It is great for business plans or extremely confused beginners. Yes. Should you use it otherwise? Uh, no. All right. Now, there are some other small nuances that I didn't mention. So if you want to know more, check out this in-depth Keeper review. All right. Thanks for watching my Keeper tutorial 2025. I hope you keep watching my videos whenever you need a cybersecurity app reviewed. And if you keep wondering why I keep saying keep so much and just keep repeating it, it's because whoever can count the number of times I said keep in this video will win a thousand dollars. I'm kidding. That was a joke. If you believe that, all I can say is keep dreaming.